Hi. How are you guys? We are gonna be doing some cleaning today. I am going to be sharing with you my weekly kitchen cleaning routine. So you guys know back in the summer, I created a cleaning planner that I sell on Amazon. If you don't know, I will link it down below. Um, that cleaning planner has everything broken down daily and weekly and what you can do. And it is customizable where you can add extra on top of the things that's already like pre put for a cleaning schedule. So we're gonna follow that. I am on my second planner. I went through one of them already, so I'm on my second one. And today is Monday and it is kitchen day. So each day of the week is broken down Monday through Sunday. And it's gonna tell you things to do on that cleaning list to get done around your house. And I feel like the cleaning routine definitely helps make things easier so you don't feel like you're doing everything all at once. It's perfect for busy moms. Even if you're not a mom and you just are busy, you work outside of the home or you just have a lot going on. We all know life is very busy and it literally flies by the blink of an eye. So just having a schedule makes things that much easier. So I had that in mind when I created that layout. It's Monday, it's cleaning day. We're gonna get stuff done, you guys. If you need the motivation, this video is for you. And let's talk about my iced coffee, homemade. Lakin says, I should totally work at Starbucks. He said, mom, you make the best coffees ever. I took that as a compliment because mother, doctor, nurse, barista, you know, a mother's job is never done. We're like a jack of all trades. So that was a compliment. Cheers. We need, we need all the coffee today because we're gonna be getting down in the nitty gritty today. This is my cleaning planner. Markers and all, <laughs> kid mom life. <laughs> um, what is cool about this, it has two sides. I think I ripped the other front part out. But it has two sides and it's non-dated, so you can put in your dates and your weeks. You have your weekly cleaning checklist over here to the side. So today's Monday, we're gonna clean this kitchen, clean the sink, the counters, wipe down appliances, sweep and mop. That's a must. And these are things we're gonna probably do every day. So don't take that away. This is just kind of like a layout of things to do. So you can do this more than just different days of the week. It doesn't just have to be on Monday because we know when you have kids cleaning, you're cleaning every day. <laughs> There's no way around it. And then down here, these are just some daily tasks. Um, again, make this your own. So making the bed, a load of laundry. That's like my goal. I used to do laundry weekly and I would drown in laundry. And you guys know I've expressed I hate laundry. I despise it. So doing a load a day or at least aiming for every other day has helped me tremendously. Just picking up a little clutter around your house, washing dishes and wiping counters, keeping those main things clean. And then over here, this is all your blank. So you can make this your own. If there's anything on this side that you don't have you can add it over here so you have your weekly to do's and then daily and then it's broken down monday through sunday and then we also have the weekend and then your monday through friday so today i'm going to be doing my basic monday stuff but there's some extra stuff i want to throw in here i want to dust the ceiling fan so that's mostly the ceiling fan in the dining room it's time for me to dust that um, I'm going to throw the throw blankets in the wash just to get that done because laundry is all caught up. But I do need to wash all of the throw blankets laying around the couch. And then I want to deep clean this oven, get the inside all nice and clean. On top of, you know, wiping the outside surface, it is time for me to clean the inside as well. So that's what we got going on for our Monday checklist of the kitchen. Let's get to it. Letting uh, pans soak and then forgetting to 
drain the water and actually wash them? Just me? Okay. So once I clean my counters off, I feel like, and you guys will have to let me know if you feel the same way, once my counters are clean, I feel like, okay, I'm making progress. I get like this boost of motivation once I wipe my counters off, all the clutter and all the dirty dishes is off. I feel like, oh, I'm accomplishing. And then I just get this boost where I'm like, all right, let, let's tackle this whole house. <laughs> Am I the only one that feels that way? There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you The pink stuff paste has been my all-time favorite to clean my stove. It gets everything off this glass top stove. It doesn't scratch it. I love this stuff. You guys, I want to just take a moment to say thank you so much for 27,000 subscribers. I feel like it's taken me five, six years of being on YouTube to get here, but besides me stopping and going, you guys have just shown endless love and support and have been here through my journey no matter how often or how how less I post and I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of my family here and just supporting my journey here on YouTube here's the 27,000 let's try to get to 50 my next goal is 30 obviously but I would love to get to 50,000 halfway to 100k I think we can do it It had been a while since I cleaned my stove so it looks so much better on the inside. I love how clean it is and now when I cook it doesn't smell burnt because you know for things like cheese and different things when I'm cooking. Now just to get this door clean. I will say if you guys have any recommendations I notice on the outside of the door there's like drip marks obviously from probably cleaning the cleaning solutions like fallen in between like do I unscrew this I don't really want to mess with the oven door though but I just thought I would ask if you guys know how to kind of clean the inside in between the oven door can't forget to wash the oven racks so I just use that kitchen cleaning spray and I use my scrub daddy to scrub it out this felt like the easiest way for me and then I just rinsed it off and I got everything off it wasn't as bad as I expected I was expecting like way more burnt on food on this but they weren't too bad
this is the part here. I think you can see what I'm talking about. Um, if you look at the front of the door, you can see like the water marks running in between. It's obviously probably from all the times of cleaning, the fluid kind of falling in between the little vent holes that's on there. Anybody know how I can get that off? Because I think it just is bothering me because I know it's there. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal. But if you have any recommendations on how I can clean and wipe those little streaks off, let me know in the comments. I've voiced this in other videos as far as like the fridge goes and hanging out pictures and artwork from the kids. I know so many people want like an aesthetically pleasing house. I've caught myself feeling like that too, but coming into the kitchen and just seeing the kids artwork and projects they've done and their pictures of them over the year at school and Samir's teacher every month sends home pictures of him in the classroom of just like activities they've done so those moments just they hold dear to my heart and I think when you walk into a home and you see artwork and pictures on the fridge it shows that that house is lived in it shows that kids are here it shows that memories are being created and you're not so focused on aesthetically pleasing in a perfect house you live here you're making memories with your kids and you're showcasing those memories so I don't think I'll ever take anything off of my fridge. I'll never have like a plain, empty, clean fridge. I will wipe it off and clean it, but I'm gonna hang those pictures right back up. Don't you look at me like that when you break my heart like that, like you're feeling sorry. Cause you're not feeling sorry. Hey, hey. Don't you look at me like that when you break my heart like that. Samir is obsessed with sticky notes and he's been writing uh, like ABCs, fire, he's obsessed with anything related to fire, fire trucks, fire alarms, all of that. So it's always cute when I find these sticky notes throughout the house and he'll kind of just mark, Samir was here, that's how I know. <laughs> Now that the counters are all cleaned, I got all my appliances wiped down. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors and get the floors mopped. I mop my floors, I wanna say maybe like twice a week. I don't mop my floors every single day. <laughs> Hold on, Samir. I do vacuum like twice a day though. I've said this before, I vacuum first thing in the morning like when I'm getting the kids up for school <laughs> and then I always vacuum before we go to bed just because after school they're getting snacks and you see all these crumbs here. This was like middle of the day. So this particular day, I had it vacuumed in the morning, but my floors look like that every day. It's insane to me. But when you have kids and you just think tracking from outside and when you're opening the door, dust is blowing in. I have a cat, you saw there was cat hair in there. So vacuuming is crucial, but I will say that after I filmed this video, like two days later, my vacuum broke. So I've been having to sweep and it's making me realize now that I have a cat, sweeping just doesn't work you know before i used to love sweeping the floors and i was fine with sweeping and if i didn't have a vacuum it was okay but when you have a pet the pet hair pet hair versus a broom <laughs> the pet hair is gonna win every single time so i'm gonna have to figure out if i can fix my vacuum or i'm gonna have to get another one because i i need a vacuum lucy she sheds like crazy i'm brushing her hair every day so a vacuum is very crucial not only just because I have kids, but because her little hairy self, the hair on the floor, I gotta clean it up. And I love Lucy, I love her being a part of our family, but I like a clean house too, so 
I'm, I gotta get me another vacuum. <laughs> That is going to sum up today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my weekly cleaning checklist. And it inspired you to go purchase my cleaning checklist planner, get your life organized, and also just to get up and clean and tackle your home. Let me know in the comments, do you have a checklist that you follow? Are you a routine cleaner or do you kind of just get up and just clean as you go? I would love to know kind of what your cleaning strategy is. If you guys enjoyed the video and if it is your first time, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So fly, you got me like